Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Sweet Fuck? I am Nicole Fody. And I'm not crying. Yet. And we're here to give you all things fuckworthy. I don't remember anything we just did. I just know that it's gonna, it's a lot of me yelling. And uh, the internet likes when I do that. <laughs> maybe that's my, instead of like, you know how people like work out to get out the anger? I think maybe I've just done that through What the Sweet Fuck. So maybe I've just been feeling so upset because I haven't screamed at the internet in a while. Maybe yeah. I need to scream at the internet as self-care. I was gonna back off thinking, we don't need to do that any- anymore. We don't need to express ourselves in that way. But you know, maybe we do. Catharsis. <laughs> I don't have anyone else to yell at. And so why not the fucking internet masses, dude? <laughs> fuck you guys. <laughs> I mean, I love you, but fuck you, dude. I don't, but I don't know what's going on. I'm just in a mood today. I, I feel can't breathe. Okay, so so we know what you're not here for. <laughs> what are you here for? This couldn't fit in any better, actually. Okay, so there's this lake. I don't know how to say it. I want to say Lanier, Lake Lanier, Lake Lan- whatever, Death okay. Lake. A bunch mm-hmm. of shit keeps happening here. Everyone keeps dying. And so I'm here for... <laughs> so I'll show you. This is like on TikTok. So this is uh, someone sharing how many people are on top of this like topsy-turvy little situation as you can see there's too many people it's starting to till look at every look at all the 20 year olds running in fear look at all these chickens just i mean that thing is almost on oh. its side I, oh baby i mean i mean i i guess i should have thought a little bit more about why i'm here for it in a way that doesn't make me sound like a serial killer as someone who comes <laughs> okay and i don't know if i could say that either as someone who grew up in michigan in mm-hmm. um the boating industry you will say okay i've spent i spent a lot of summers working at boat gas docks and uh watching people do some really incredibly unfortunate things not understanding that like yes maybe you shouldn't smoke a cigarette as you're bringing in your uh your the big thing you're driving that's gonna be filled with gas and like Maybe you, maybe you should slow down a little bit in the no wake zone, baby, so that you don't slam into the fucking pylons, you know? So yeah, just sim- simple things, just a few things and has also seen the aftermath of what happens when someone falls off a boat in the middle of the night, they can't find their body until days Ooh. later when it fills up with gas. Ooh. Um, so, you know, just like fun teenage things, uh, <laughs> just fun teenage Midwest things. What I'm going to say is that like, I don't, I don't think we all have to be mathematicians uh-huh okay i don't i don't i i'm never using geometry okay i have never calculus don't know her okay mm-hmm. pre pre-calc never matter but that's too many fucking people okay i don't i mean just a general estimate and maybe it's just because i've walked around in a fat body my whole life a little bit more aware of what things will hold what especially <laughs> in regards to other people, yeah, a little physics, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I would say being fat has actually made me a physicist uh, in many in many ways. I'm looking at materials. I'm like, uh, I need to know the date on that. <laughs> I need to know the construction. I need to know where the screws are. I'm gonna say that having like 150 of your closest f- friends drinking on top of a, a little topsy-turvy boat, not the smartest. Also in Death Lake that keeps being reported as horrible things happening, probably just, you know, invoking invoking death. And you I would have liked to see more. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I guess this is what they call learning by experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I would hope that this is an experience that maybe makes, maybe makes them think. Do, d- do my vibes say that these are probably the kind of kids that would like leave a negative Yelp review for the company that rented them out, out the boat that couldn't hold their nearest, dearest 350. Um, I do. Do I think that some of their parents probably made calls to a manufacturer about how unsafe was some, something was as opposed to looking at their child and being like, what's wrong with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. I do. Um, but you know what? As I say, and as I said for a long time, sometimes you gotta get a little hurt to learn a little lesson. Yeah, and you're here for the lesson. And I hope, I hope that you all pass this one with flying colors. I like that you picked that because it coincides perfectly 
with what I chose. Wow. So I'm here for it. Would you say that you're here for that body of water? Could you say yeah. that? I would absolutely say that in this fight, I think the body of water will win. I'm also here for a body of water. This is like a, a bog, a marsh. I don't, I don't really know what, what to call it. Okay, <clears throat> before I go on another tangent, let's jump into this bog. Are you ready? Listen, I'm ready to jump in feet first. And as soon as we get out of it, I'm putting some warm salt saline water in, in my belly button so that I don't get an infection. Yeah, that's good. Well, I think he's going to need that too, because let's oh, watch no. this 59 second video, shall oh, we? Oh, no. <gasps> he thought it was just a little puddle. <laughs> and his wife's cracking up. I'm going to get across. Oh, I'm going to get my, look, my trousers are getting dirty. Okay, already. Already I'm annoyed with my husband. I'm going to stay my feet. I've got to try and get over there. Thank God. Thank, thank God. <laughs> that was a fight. Really? That was a, that was so a mad. fight. That was He's a so fight. Sad. And then I'm on the back of the fight with you. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what he said after coming up. Yeah. He was pissed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, he knew. Don't say anything. Yeah, which is Don't fair. Don't say anything. I'm pretty sure that's what I would be thinking too. Listen. Actually, no, I, I think was laughing. I was pissed. Let me tell you what. As as his internet wife, I was mm -hmm. already pissed to see him in the mud with his pants not entirely rolled up the way that he was in with his shoes. Because my question is, who's cleaning this? <laughs> who's cleaning this? Because listen, you might I, listen. I Not already, me. I already have a feeling, because when you're walking into dirt that way, I, I just, I gotta believe that as reckless as you are, I gotta believe that's because someone else does your laundry and you, and you have no thought about it. He so even he, said, "I don't want to get my pants dirty." Well, first of all, sir, why are you wearing business <laughs> pants? <laughs> like nice, whatever, casual, but like going to the office pants. Well, but scratch all that. My original question is, why do you need to get to this other mud pile from this mud pile? Because it seems like your wife is standing on something that might connect them. She so looks maybe, fine, yeah. Here's a lesson. Instead of maybe going through, we could just go around. And now I got to sit on the back of the bike with you covered in mud because you won't fucking talk to me and you're pissed and I can't even laugh because it's like turning into an argument. I'm laughing. I'm like, laughing. I feel like this video is a metaphor for how I deal with trauma. But like, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'm yes. just going to go around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well, okay. I guess now I'll try to go through it. Oops. Oh, no. I'm... The way that the way that I deal with it is I'm I'm probably jumping into the mud head first. And I'm probably not coming back up for air for a long time. Okay. If I fall in the mud like that, first of all, holding my shoes up like they're not gonna get dirty, and then I just go in. I mean hilarious. That man saw the other side of his life. There was a moment where that man thought he was gonna die, which is extra funny to me, I guess. <laughs> like if I go in, I'm staying in. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm swimming the rest of the way. Whatever was so important that I had to get across, I'll, I'll meet you guys there. Okay, figure it out. Floaties are on, man. I'm. I've committed to it. I've mm -hmm. committed to it. I'm, and you know what? I'll be the first one to crack the joke. I'm the one. I'm gonna make the funniest joke. So it's not even. I listen. No one's getting more joy than me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> If you asked me what my story was for today, I couldn't tell you until I clicked on this tab right now. Beautiful. Couldn't tell you what it, what it, oh, I remembered. That's, that's just the kind of deep investigative journalism that I appreciate about this show. That is a fucking spider next to me. Wait. Oh no. Can, oh, can you oh. see it? Yeah. That's there a big boy. Is. That's a big boy. I'm looking, I'm trying not to perceive that fucking spider wherever he is. I think, I think you, you will like to perceive this. Okay. So I want to talk about a little story that I'm in love with. And I want us to 
pontificate <laughs> on, uh, you know, what we would do if we found ourselves in this situation. I would just love okay. to find myself, truly. The title is Family Returning Home Shocked to Cleaned. It's a little longer, two minutes. Oh, Let's talk. This guy runs a cleaning service called The Cleaning Fairy. He'll have your home spotless. Dusting and cleaning, he even does the dishes. The other day, 27-year-old Louis Angelino was hired to clean a friend's apartment in South Jersey. He was told he'd find the key under the mat. So far, so good. Two and a half hours later, place is spotless. Then the friend reached out to Louis with a perplexing question. Are you here? Did you come clean today? And I was like, yeah, I, I came and cleaned. Like, I'm sitting in your living room right now. Um, your cat's on my lap. I'm playing That's with your cat. Uh, Louis. I was like, yeah. He's like, I don't have a cat. Yep. Louis had just spent a lot of elbow grease cleaning the wrong apartment. His apartment's 277. 77. You were in 227. Yes. And you had already finished cleaning the entire place. Exactly. Just so happens both places had keys under the mat. Sure did. <laughs> This is the apartment Louie mistakenly cleaned. The homeowner was so shocked, he took this video when he came home and saw the place in pristine condition. The couch is all put together. I'd be like, was Everything's I wrong? shiny. <laughs> Look how immaculate. The living room, the bedroom, no took anything, every just room. Cleaned. And there's nothing in the sink. <laughs> It was Beth Motzel's oh, husband who shot sure. the video. So he Luckily, said, he didn't shoot someone when he walked in and saw this. them there. I said, what? He said, somebody broke in and cleaned our apartment. <laughs> <laughs> the cleaning fairy had his work cut out for him at Beth's place. It was filthy. <laughs> the dust from renovating. You really can't make this stuff up, but here we are. Oh, my God. You know? Okay. Imagine so, if they were okay. home. Okay, so question, first of all. I think I got sure. a little confused in the beginning. Was uh -huh. this a friend that was coming over to clean, or this was someone they hired to come clean? So this is a, a someone who has a cleaning business who okay. someone hired to go clean their apartment. Okay. And he transposed the numbers. It was okay. like 277 okay. instead of 227 or something. Okay. All right. And apparently both places had the key under the map. Mm -hmm. So he... Both people, that, both people that want to get robbed, truly. Clean, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I no mean, one's home. I, the best case scenario for what happens when you leave your key under the mat. I, and also, okay, listen, okay, so this is a little side tangent, but I was watching a movie the other night called Stepfather. Not great, don't recommend. The or? Movie. Yeah, it was like 2009. It's not, it, wasn't a good, it wasn't a good movie. Mm. But, you know, you know, fun, fun. I like watching trash. And, mm. um, what was most upsetting about it to me was that he was a serial killer who would kill like families, but he didn't do anything beyond that. It was just like, mm -hmm. well, killed you. There's your body falling. That's where you are. And I was really upset because I was like to go through all the work to become a serial killer and then like to not have a signature, to not like do some yeah. weird shit. Wait, and I just feel like if I were to be a criminal of some sort, if I were going to steal things from people, I think I would literally do this. It would be like a way of like getting rid of my <laughs> the guilt that I have and uh, and giving back for what I had taken. Like, yes, I did take this very, uh, you know, this expensive heirloom from your grandmother, but no dishes in the sink. Bet you haven't cleaned out these grays in months. And how did you feel when you walked into a pristine home? I don't think you're looking for grandma's bracelets. I mean, I would, I would be, no. I would actually think I had lost my mind. Yo, yeah. 100%. I would think there's a ghost here and the ghost has cleaned them. <laughs> there's someone living above a cupboard that comes out at night <gasps> and yes. That fucking lady. Was that in Japan or something? I, I don't remember what it was, but yeah, the person that was like living inside the walls and then like would come out in the middle of the night. Yeah, that. To get some I'm a first. cancer rising. That's exactly how I would do that. I'm like, I let me feel adjust. Like, I'm like putting myself in the position right now. And I'm like, I just, I would feel so, you know, there, there is a feeling of joy when you like oh, yeah. come back, like you've just cleaned, you leave and you come back and you're like, oh, I forgot I cleaned. This is wonderful. Beautiful. But to know that you didn't do it and no one else had been there. I would call my therapist instantly. I would be like, something is broken.
I would be like, do I call the police or do I call my therapist? I don't know. Something has broken inside of me. Days have passed. I've done something outside of my body I didn't even know I was doing. Like I've shut off. Yeah, I think I would I would convince myself I don't even remember where I just came from. And I just like, appeared at the door. What do you do as someone who owns the business? Now you gotta go clean their apartment too. You just did two uh, jobs for one. Uh, I mean, it's a cute story, but also with the story yeah. coming out, everyone better move their keys because now everyone knows that 277 and 227 are not safe, dude. Oh no. You all and gotta also, get electronic like, lock boxes. Has Airbnb taught y'all nothing? What are we doing? You think he got paid twice? You I think he got think. <laughs> he certainly did not. You think he just No. I mean I maybe if those people were like incredibly like overly giving, they would have been mm -hmm. like, Oh my god, we didn't ask for this, but you know. Um Yeah, I wonder what I would do. Something, but no. I definitely wouldn't want to pay. I'd be like, well, this wasn't in my budget, but thank you. <laughs> Listen, whoever whoever was getting their apartment clean second was not getting as good of a clean. No. We're putting it off a day, babe. <laughs> Sorry about it. I mean, what do you do in that? Excuse me. <laughs> thank you. What do you do in that scenario where you realize that you've done that? Do you write like a note and leave it on the table being like, by the way, I did not rob you. This was on accident. I was actually here for this apartment. I am so sorry, but also you're welcome. <laughs> like what? I'm sorry, you're welcome. I'm sorry, you're welcome. Yeah. You know, I I wrote I wrote. That's okay. We passed. We passed. We passed Daddy's ability to. I, you know, when you do go see this therapist, uh, you know, we might want to pull back some episodes of WTSF just to show where your brain does shut down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is me uh -huh. cleaning the second apartment, trying to not cry, trying to just like <laughs> get it done. Yeah, you got to find that energy somewhere. Somewhere. And uh, this is me uh, walking in to my newly cleaned abode <laughs> before I realize that I may have lost my mind. I would literally, and this maybe this tells you what being socialized as a woman does. <clears throat> if I walked in, and my apartment had been cleaned. And to my knowledge, no one else would have been here. Mm -hmm. I would think a serial killer is here to murder me. There are probably tarps down somewhere. He has cleaned the scene before he kills me. Because that's his signature. I, I'm always looking for a signature. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I would have backed out and been like, we need oh. to call the police. <laughs> I mean, especially with the the library of films and series that you have watched. No. See, this is why you'd have cameras in your fucking house. No, I, listen, no more keys under mats. Okay? And, you know who I hope amazing. doesn't leave their keys under mats? We want to say, oh my God. Thank you so much, Jeremy Shaw. Jeremy Shawshank Redemption, this L4 and L5 in my fucking vertebrae. Joan. Joan, ah, uh, a biblical name. Joan of Arcadia, Joan of, of, uh, And Shannon Lemon. <laughs> and Shannon. The only thing I have that feels good anymore in my fucking taste bud, my taste buds, and I would like to feel them so sweet and so tart. We also want to thank you to uh, Heather Snitch Feraloides. Heather, shut the fuck up. Snitch. Jennifer Best. Jennifer, I'm trying to be my goddamn best because I'm inspired by you, my people. Cat Waterflame. Oh God, cat. Take this fucking water, take this flame, and scorch the crown, my dude. Roberto excess. Ah, uh, Roberto, it's, you know what? You know what's excessive? Life. <laughs> and Stephanie. And Stephanie. Love you. We love Thank you. you. So Thanks to all the BBs you see on the screen and the BBs you don't see who are ghost BBs. If you'd like to join us and them in the afterlife, please visit patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. Um, that's all we have for you today. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>